The man himself, George Lucas, who developed the first Star Wars movie back in 1977, Star Wars A New Hope, was able to inspire a lot of people around the globe. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one of the big things for Star Wars Episode 9, we do know that J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio will be doing a lot of revolutionary things for some of our returning characters, as well as some of the sequel trilogy characters like Rey, Kylo Ren, Poe, and Finn. A lot of twists and turns will be present in this movie, and a lot of people have been wondering about George Lucas and his involvement in Episode 9. Now, we heard about this lightly these past couple of months or so, about George Lucas Lucas, the man himself, the man who created the Star Wars franchise ever since Star Wars A New Hope. Now, what's really interesting to me is that apparently George Lucas will have a hand in developing parts of the ending of Star Wars Episode 9 with both J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. Now, we're not quite sure how significant his help really will be and how much advice he will be giving over to J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio and exactly which scenes he will actually take part in. But nonetheless, it'll all have to do with the third act of the movie. Now, this falls directly in line with what we saw just a couple of days ago of George Lucas being on the set of The Mandalorian, the new live-action TV series. And there's also a lot of talk that he's involved with that TV show as well. Maybe not as a director, maybe not as a writer, of course, but he will be an inspirational piece for the creators working on those episodes, and he will be lending advice to some of the those creators like Dave Filoni, Bryce Dallas Howard, and a whole lot more to come. And that's one good thing about that live action TV series is that you're going to have multiple different directors on that show, just like any TV series. So looking at episode 9 here, honestly I think it's great news. I think it's good news that George Lucas is involved in some way, shape, or form for the ending of episode 9. And if you have to ask me, I think it all has to do with the Skywalkers. Now we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be doing something very special with both Luke and Leia in episode 9. Exactly what will that be? We have no clue. It could have something to do with a reunion. It could have something to do with an action that Luke Skywalker did in the past and a huge revelation that will be made in this movie which we have heard before that there will be a huge revelation for the character of Luke Skywalker. So George Lucas and his involvement in episode 9 It'll all be geared for the ending of the movie. And we do know that J.J. Abrams has been going through some script rewrites and script adjustments here and there. And it could absolutely mean that George Lucas actually lended some advice to J.J. And actually made him change a couple of things here and there. Now we do know that he was lightly involved with Solo A Star Wars Story. Now apparently he's more involved with the live action TV series. And will also be lending a hand in episode 9 for the ending of the film, of course, in the third act of the movie. So this is great stuff, right? Because a lot of people have been asking for George to at least be a part of the Star Wars sequel trilogy in some way, shape, or form. After all, this is the final Skywalker film. It is going to be a huge project. A lot of people are going to jump on this and really, you know, treat it as a special movie because not only is this the final film that will feature Carrie Fisher, but it will also be the last movie to have Luke Skywalker by Mark Hamill, Billy D. Williams as Lando Calrissian, and any of our characters connected to the Skywalkers or any of those characters that we know and love from the original trilogy. This is the final film of that, the final film of the Skywalker saga. So with that being all done and said, I think that George Lucas looks at this as a huge opportunity a opportunity in order to take part in, lend a lot of advice to his creators like J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. A lot of people do have concerns with this movie though after the big disappointment with The Last Jedi by Ryder and director Ryan Johnson. You know, the way he treated Luke as a character, the way he treated some of the story elements. Not a lot of people 
really agreed with that movie. So going into episode 9, a lot of people are pretty much on guard right now. A lot of people are guarded from essentially getting exposed to any kind of disappointment from some of the plot elements in episode 9. So a lot of people are keeping their expectations very, very low going into this movie. This way they're not setting themselves up for a lot of disappointment when they go ahead and see the film. And I can totally understand that, but looking at episode 9, guys, this is a big movie. It's going to really have a lot of twists and turns, I believe. As Donald Gleason has said, as J.J. Abrams has said before in the past, that he cannot wait to show what he has in store for the fans. He is so eager to show everybody and that it's going to really blow a lot of people away. But anyways, guys, I would love to hear your input about all of this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.